This is Lord Arman of Dark Funeral and I'm blowing it up on Capital Chaos TV. Now, uh, you are a Swedish band, right? Yeah, that's right. In Stockholm. Oh, okay. And, and we were one guy from Germany. Oh. But mostly all Swedes. Yes. The reason I ask is here in America, there's always been a certain mystique about uh, Swedish bands where somebody could say, hey, look, I just heard this really killer band and they're from Sweden. As if killer wasn't enough. The fact that they're maybe from Sweden gives it a little more weight. Unlike, say, if somebody said, I got this really killer band from uh, Roseville or uh, some other bumfuck part of California. Do you, uh, are, you, are you familiar with the, the mystique that I'm talking about? Sweden have a great music scene you know, in, in all genres. Uh, not only metal, but uh, I think, yeah, Sweden have made an imprint on the metal map for sure for, for a long time. And uh, yeah, just we have a great music scene. That's that's it. Yeah, we appreciate it, and we we eat it up like candy. For those of those who those of us who actually purchase music, that is. Um, is there a part of the world that that has a certain mystique for you that music comes out comes from? No, nah, not really. Um, well, you have always you, you you have American death metal is of course that's that's a strong, you know, also a strong imprint on the on the metal map, and uh, I like a lot of uh, American death metal bands. Always always done it, you know, Morbid Angel for example, Cannibal Corpse, Hate Eternal, you know, there's lots of good bands. And uh, do you uh, do you have a favorite? Is there one particular favorite death metal album of all time for you? Oh, that's that's a tough one. I, I I really don't have favorite records like that. It all depends on what mood I'm in, I you see. know. And it's you know, f I can listen to one record for six months, just that one record, and then I get sick of it and don't listen to it for ten years, you know. And then I move on to the next one. It, it all depends on wh which mood I'm, I mean. But I never highlight one record like that, you know. Are you? You pr so you're pretty obsessive about whatever you like. If you like it, you listen to it to death. Yeah, more or less. Uh, I guess I'm I'm one of those guys from the school that if I find something I like, I, I keep it. Uh, I don't change too much. And uh, now you're on tour with Morbid Angel and Grave. Um, obviously, you're a, you're a big fan of Grave as well. They're uh, brothers of yours. To some degree. Yeah, they're, you know, one of those old school death metal bands from Stockholm. And, yeah, we were from the from the same, uh, uh, what you call it? Uh, same era? No, nah, not not really the same era, but, you know, from the, from the same Stockholm scene. Okay. More or less. Okay, Ulla moved to, also, he's an outsider coming from Gothla, Gotland. And I'm from, from the north part of Sweden, so we have that in common, that we moved to Stockholm to, to work on, on our bands. Uh, but uh, we're in the same, you know... Um, uh, we come from the same era of, of, of the extreme metal scene in, in Sweden and Stockholm. The, the, the holy or the unholy Swedish metal scene. We, uh, we thank you for sharing yourself with us now um you guys have been on tour for how long now i think it's four weeks has there been any uh standout shows on this particular tour we talked about it yesterday and maybe the two highlights have been new york and and yesterday in portland was was a really good show too uh but it's it's been going pretty well overall and no and no, no problems or anything, it's just been flowing out very good. The chemistry between all bands are really good and, you know, just the way it should be. That's great, that's great. You're all adults to some degree. Exactly. And uh, so there's probably not much craziness going on. Uh, no, I guess we all had uh, our shame when we were younger. Right. I mean, going crazy on a tour bus or, you know, backstage or whatever. Now we like to keep it, you know, 
professional and do our job and you know do a good show for for the crowd every night and it's probably easier that way right uh, for now yes i would say so but you know when when you were younger you you wanted that chaos too you know right so it, I guess it's part of the evolution, you know. Sure, sure, that makes sense. Now, uh, it's been a while, what, 2009 since the last one? Uh, are we going to get one this year or is it going to be next year? Next year, is, it's in the plan. And is it going to be with uh, Peter from uh, Hypocrisy again? Don't know, nothing is nailed in stone yet, so... But uh, we'll see. I'm definitely going to have a talk to him. Do you, is it written or no. are you still in the process of We're still in the process of writing it. And... Uh, you, uh, this is a new label for you. You've been on Regain for most of your career. How is it? Uh, how, how different is it from label to label? Well, we, it, it's it's all Century Media. It's all a new, uh, new deal for us. Yeah, so we haven't really started working too much together. Uh, but so far, so good. And we'll see what the future holds. But it it feels good, you know, have a, our biggest and strongest label backing us up. You know. Now I know that you're. Uh, you did a video on your last album. It was banned on MySpace. Do you think the standards have changed since then? It's real hard to say. Um, I don't know. We never got an explanation why they banned it or, you know, they just banned it. And censorship is, you know, when it comes to movies or videos or artistic. I, I always been for artistic freedom whatever it is and and censors something like that is uh, something i'm very much against i know that uh right now we have an election going on here in america do you uh do you in sweden follow this uh, american craziness or is it is it the same over there as it is here no it's it's definitely more crazy in the states than in sweden uh, I don't, it's so much different, uh, the whole political system is way different than Sweden and I really don't understand uh, the American system at all, it just seems like if you have money you can, right. you know, plow your way through. Pretty uh, much, is it a two, three party system over there in Sweden or? At the moment we have, uh, it's four parties working together. Uh, but one that's in, in the league, uh, they, they made this unit just to get the most votes together, all together. And, uh, well, I'm not po into politics at all, and uh, it, it doesn't, to me it doesn't seem to matter if it's right or left-winged or m mid, you know, it's, it's all going to be bullshit anyway. <laughs> You know. It's uh, the way most of it, most of us see it, but at the moment we have, uh, I guess you could say, our bullshit on overdrive because it's you know, the election time. It's almost like, like the build up to the big concert of some kind, you know. Exactly, and that's why you know, for for me as a Swede, Swede uh, don't really understand uh, why it's it's. I, I guess you call it populistic, maybe, you know the way they they do it here or at least the way we see it through the news and uh, that shouldn't really be the way politics is run if you ask me but as i said i'm not a politician are you uh, what about guns do you uh, are you a gun owner are you allowed to own a gun in sweden i'm not quite sure no we got really strict uh, uh weapon rules in sweden do you think that's uh do you think that's uh appropriate or do you, f like over here, there are many that feel they could use their guns to protect themselves from the government. And that's one of the, one of the reasons they have it. Do you, do, would you see yourself in that kind of mindset? I don't see any reason for, for carrying around weapons at all. You know, uh, yeah, that is also one thing for... Uh, sure, if, if you like weapon under control circumstances, st stances, fine. I don't mind anyone having their joy at the shooting range or whatever, but uh, I mean experience, my experience tells that the more weapons around, the more innocent killing it's going to be, so uh, I think that's quite proven case. Right, it's pretty simple when you do the math, that is the case. And uh, finally, uh, do you have any uh, anything that you'd like to say to your fans before we wrap this interview up? Well, it's good to be back in, in the States. Um, mm, Hope to see as many as, uh, 
hope to see as many of you as possible at the shows because this is kick-ass package going around the states right now and yeah